and a pro. How could I live without you? I'm sorry, I just have to sing to the rooftops about Canva because I love Canva. Canva just won't stop with the amazing updates. And one of those really cool ones is the bulk create feature. And of course, with all of the hype about chat GPT, people are freaking out about the bulk create feature, myself included. And in this video, I'm first gonna show you how we can use chat GPT to bulk create endless amounts of content using chat GPT and Canva. Canva Pro. And I'm gonna illustrate that for you with Instagram in mind. We're gonna come up with kind of an Instagram strategy of how we can put together some engaging, fun content for Instagram posts. And also those can double down as a YouTube community post. This is really valuable stuff. And you can actually use it for videos, which I've been doing myself, and bulk create all the text animations you need for a video you're editing and save a lot of time in your video editing workflow. Not a minute to waste, strap in, let's get going. Hey, welcome to the Pod Sound School. I'm Studio Steve and I'm a Canva freak. And also I teach everything content creation, both here on YouTube and inside of our coaching programs. So if you wanna learn more about working with me and the Pod Sound School directly inside of one of our coaching programs, just go to podsoundschool.com and you can find more information there. Let's start making some Instagram posts. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to make daily reminders. Chappy is what I call ChatGPT. Can you give me 10 fun one sentence daily reminders for biz owners. So we have 10 really fun daily reminders for biz owners. I'm gonna copy the longest one of these. So I'll copy this one right here. Then we'll come to Canva and from Canva, I'll click on create design up here in the top right corner. And you can type in Instagram post, but I already see it here. And I prefer an Instagram portrait, but you could also just do the Instagram post square. Both work. If you do the portrait, you'll want to prioritize your text to still display within the square so that everybody can see it. And all of your design can be seen when it actually is on your Instagram homepage. So now you'll see that we're in the design tab over here on the left. And from the design, we're gonna see all Canvas templates. So we can search for reminder and see what comes up. I really like this one. So this is the one we're gonna use for this illustration. Of course, you can play with this design now and you will want to do that. Make it yours because this is our template. This is what all of the designs are gonna look like when we bulk create them. So I can take the background and change it to one of my brand colors. I can change this element to one of my brand colors as well. I can change the font and everything. And then this area right here, this text box is where we're gonna put our actual daily reminder. So I'm going to double click in it and replace it by pressing Command V or paste that reminder from ChatGPT in. I'll get rid of this one and we'll just kind of resize this to our liking so that it fits in here really nice. And we wanna make sure that the one that has the most text fits into our design so that we don't run into problems as we bulk create them. So that looks really good. There's a daily reminder. So now what I can do is I can set up a bulk create. Click on bulk create and you have two options. You can either enter the data manually or you can upload a CSV. So you can use Google Sheets, which we'll be doing later in this video, or you can use Excel or anything that can export a CSV and has columns and rows, or you can enter the data manually, which is what we'll do. And now I'm gonna come back over to chat GPT, highlight all of this and come back here. And remember I clicked on enter data manually. I'm just gonna click in this first square here and press command V or control V as in Victor for paste. And look, all of those have been filled in. He's losing his mind. I'm not gonna worry about this column because I'm not gonna use any of this data in this column. And now I'll just go ahead and say done. And now it shows us, here's your two data fields that we've identified. So now it's waiting for us to apply these data fields to any boxes in our design. So we can come over to this box. And if you control click on a Mac or right click on a PC, you will see this connect data and it will give you the two fields. And the one that we're gonna wanna use is name because that's the field that we put all of our daily reminders in. So now you can see that my text has been replaced with name. And now that we say continue, it shows us apply data, create pages based on the data you've entered. And it shows us the 10 reminders that we entered. So we'll go ahead and press generate 10 pages. It creates a new Canva design, which is cool because we can always pop back into our old one and make changes if we see that we need to. And look at this. We have a daily reminder with our brand colors, different daily reminders. And we can look at it from a page view. If you click on this down here, the grid view, you'll see we look at all of them as a grid view. So now what we can do is download all of these and organize them in a drive somewhere. And maybe once a week, we post a daily reminder. So this is really cool. Now let's do this one more time, but let's use two different columns so you can see how fun that can be. 
And let's also use ChatGPT to help us create a table. We'll go to a new chat in ChatGPT, and in ChatGPT, I'm going to ask it, can you give me 10 one-sentence quotes for biz owners? Sure, here's 10 sentence quotes. Now what's cool here is it's also showing me the author of the quote. So now I could say, great, can you do that again, but in a table, quote in one column, author in another. Sure, here are 10 quotes for business owners presented in table format. We might not even wanna use this one by David Rockefeller because it's so long. Can you do that again, but replace the David Rockefeller quote with a shorter one? Sure. So now this one by Socrates is actually the longest one. So we'll click, we're gonna highlight this one by Socrates and I'll press Command C or Control C to copy it so that it's in my clipboard. Again, we come to create design and we say portrait. And now from this search bar up here with our designs, we're gonna type in quote and we can find a quote design that we really like. Now let's just go with a simple one. You could just go for a single brand color, one of your brand colors. And here's our quote. And I'm gonna throw in a Canva Pro tip. Canva Pro tip. If you're making an Instagram portrait post like this and you want to make sure that you're staying inside of your square, one thing that I used to do is just to come up to the elements tab here, click on a rectangle or a square design here and put a square sort of in my design so that I could really visualize where the square was at. But instead of doing that, while you're on your design, all you have to do is press the R key for rectangle and it will drop a rectangle or a square into your design. And then if you hold the shift button, it's going to lock the aspect ratio of the square. So as you scale it, up or down or smaller and bigger, it maintains its perfect square shape. So we can do that and scale it out just like that. And then if you kind of grab it and move it around until you see this pink line in the middle, that's telling you this is center. So now you know it's center. Now here's a really cool thing that you may not know you have access to in Canva, and that is the ruler. If you press Shift R for ruler, a ruler pops up. And if you come along the top part here, you'll see where these numbers are, there's a line. If you click on that line, click, hold, and drag, you can start dragging these markers. And I'm gonna drag one down all the way here, and it will sort of click in place and turn pink when I hit the bottom of that square, which is cool. Now I'll repeat the process by clicking up here on this line and dragging, it's gonna click pink right there. And now I can just click on my square and delete it, and I have these two guidelines, or you could think of them as text safe area. How cool is that, right? If you loved my Canva Pro tip, give me a thumbs up. Okay, so now what we have to do is come here to this spot and paste in our Socrates quote. So this actually looks like it's gonna fit in there just fine, and this is ready to now bulk create. So let's hop back over to this again and watch. If we actually select all of this in the table and we press Command C and find our bulk create tool, then we can enter data manually. We'll click on that. And now if I click in the right hand, top right hand corner and I press Command V for paste, it actually pastes both columns. Really cool stuff. Now we could also rename these up here if we wanted to, to quote, and we could rename this to author if we wanna actually stay organized and know what we're doing. And then I can say done. And now look, it says two data fields identify. We have quote and we have author. Okay, so now we can click on this text box here. We'll hold the control button and click or right click on a PC and click on connect data. And when we do, we see quote. So let's choose quote. And now it says quote there. Let's do the same thing with Andy Warhol. We'll click on Andy Warhol. We'll hold control and click the mouse, connect data and choose author. And now we'll say continue down here it is gonna remind us of the 10 that we are going to generate. Generate 10 pages, and boom, we have a really cool situation going on there. And like I mentioned, you could repeat this process. You could come back here and change this to another one of your brand colors. Maybe you could even change the color of the font here as well. And then generate 10 more pages as you've adjusted your design in a different way. And now you have some variations. We have this color of those 10 quotes, or we have this color of those 10 quotes. And you can sort of pick and choose where you want them. So that's pretty amazing, right? And now as promised, I'm gonna show you how you can do this with video. Okay. 
I'm extremely excited. So here is a video script. Now, when you're doing educational content especially, and you're reading a script on YouTube and you're doing talking head videos, a lot of times you're gonna have sections, right? You're gonna have headers or you're gonna have points that you're making, like five reasons to do this, or in this case, seven simple and easy ways to make money online with ChatGPT. Really cool video, by the way. You should check it out right here if you haven't yet. Veronica killed it. She's way better than me. Don't look at me. I don't know about this Studio Steve guy. So what I wanna do is I wanna create a title card animation that plays every time Veronica talks about one of the ideas. So you see we have idea one, resume and cover letter writing service. Idea two, social media content creation. Idea three, content repurposing service. So I suppose I could copy this whole document, put it into ChatGPT and ask it to extract those ideas for me, but I'm just gonna go ahead and build a sheet myself. So I'm going to open up a Google Sheet. The first row is gonna be the title of what the column is. Here we're actually gonna say text, and then here we could say number. Idea number one, and then if you come over here to this blue ball and click on it and drag it, it will actually create those for you. So now we have idea number one through seven, quick and easy. Now we can come over here and we just have to copy and paste all of our ideas. So I'll fast forward it while I do that. Never leave me, Chad GPT. Now that I've had you, I can't live without you. Opera is really helpful when it comes to tedious tasks. Now in one column, I have the actual text that's gonna display, and in the other column, I have an idea. So now let's go create a video graphic and animate it and put tons of bells and whistles on it, and this is really gonna wow you. So we'll say create design, and let's go ahead to custom size, and I'm gonna choose this custom size down here that I've already created as 3840 by 2160, or you can type that in here, and those are the dimensions for a 4K video. We like to shoot all of our videos in 4K. And now the first thing I'm gonna do is since these ideas are about money is I'm gonna find some stock video with money so I'm gonna come down here to the video button in our tools here and search for money and you can see I was already looking for money and we'll find a cool money shot this one looks really cool but then the other thing I want to do here is I want to bring in a rectangle and add one of my brand colors as an overlay over this so remember we can just press R to bring in that rectangle and then sort of resize it over the entirety of this canvas and let's change it to that blue color. Canva Pro Tip. Did you know that now, in addition to colors, you can also do gradients with shapes? So if you come up here to this add new color button, you now have solid color or gradient, which is really cool. So now I can choose different gradients. I could choose another brand color, or maybe I can kind of come up here to this white and make a nice gradient. There's different gradient shapes. All these gradients look really cool. Let's do this one right here, this looks cool. And then I can now change the opacity of this image by clicking on this button up in my top hand toolbar, I like to call it, left hand toolbar, top hand toolbar. And here is the transparency or opacity. And we can kind of bring it down. Maybe we want to kind of switch this around a little bit. I like that a little bit better. And maybe we need a third color in our gradient and we want more of a black color in there as well. Something like that. You can see you can really have fun with the gradients and design some fun gradients here. We'll put the black color over here so it goes dark to light, just like that. That looks beautiful. So if we come to the text panel here along the top hand side, we actually have sort of some really cool options that it has ready for us. I love this one right here, happy hour, because they already look like neon lights. If I come here, I can say ungroup and it will ungroup these two. The top one, let's change it to kind of like a, a pink color so that it looks more like a yeah, like that. And that could be our number. And then this bottom one, let's change it to like a real green color. And we can change this one to idea. So I did that backwards. We're actually gonna do idea up here in pink. And then here we're actually gonna say number one. Oh, you know what? We can even maybe do this instead. And now we can resize both of these together by selecting them together. And now that they're both selected, let's click on animate again from our top hand toolbar here. And from animate, there's actually a animation called neon right here. And it sort of sparkles on and off or flickers on and off like a neon light would. So now we can sort of preview this video and it's already looking pretty cool, which is nice. And now what we also want is the actual title, right? The actual information of what idea number one is. So let's create a new text box. 
This time with the text, I'm just gonna do my own text and we'll sort of resize it. Let's come over here to our sheet and I'll find the longest one once again. Come back over here and click in it like that. This looks pretty good and I think we can put it right in the center. Let's go ahead and change the text to this white color. Now let's add an animation to this by clicking on it. So I'll click on this, I'll click animate and let's choose like this drift and it's sort of gonna drift to the side like that. You'll notice here also that this is a 25 second clip. Maybe that's a little too much. Can the pro tip? You can now access your layers in Canva Pro by pressing Option 1 or Alt 1 on a PC. And look at that, we now have our layers right here. Now we can click on this layer and we can actually edit the video here now that the layer is highlighted. Or we can click on this little scissor icon with the time and this now we can manually enter how long we want this to be. And I think all of our little clips, little video clips, they can all be 10 seconds. They don't need to be longer than that. That is really cool. So now I have this, I can export this as a video itself and bring it into my video editing software. And this could be idea number one. And then as I'm editing, I come back to Canva and I do idea number two and I have to type in new things and copy and paste new things. Or we can just bulk create and save a ton of time in the process. So let's again go to that bulk create button. And now we're actually gonna upload a CSV. So we'll come back here to this sheet and then we're gonna say file and we're gonna say download and we'll download it as a comma separated values or a .csv and it downloads really quick. So when we come back to Canva and we say upload CSV, go to our downloads, we'll see we have the download right there. And now look, it's identified two data fields, text and number. I love you! So let's click on the number or number one and we'll control click on it or right click on a PC and say connect data and we'll choose number. And it looks funky, but it won't look funky because we know it's just gonna be the little number. Now we'll do the same thing here. We're gonna click on this and control click, connect data and we'll say text and there's our text. Say continue and again, generate seven pages. Oh, and I should not have had idea in my table. So we can actually go back here and just delete all of these and I'm just actually gonna put number one here. I made a little boo-boo there, my bad. And we'll fix that boo-boo. Let's re-download this as a C CSV. Good, good. Come back here again and now we'll have to kind of come out of this. Okay, so I fixed that. So now again, we're gonna say upload CSV and we'll upload this one with the right, just numbers one, two, and three in there. We'll control click on it connect data and choose number. We'll repeat the same process here. Control click on it, connect data and press text. And now we'll say continue and generate seven pages. And now look at that. We have a video, if we were to watch it, that contains all of our ideas and there's little, in 10 second, little title cards that are made for us. And here's the next one. And now we can replace the video very easily by just sort of scooting that out of the way. We have a different video there. Sort of scoot that out of the way. We have a different video here. And that's it. What do you think? Are you mind blown? Make sure you give me a thumbs up and leave a comment with an emoji that best represents how you feel or like a series of emojis. Again, I teach graphic design, video and audio production and a lot more inside of our coaching programs. You can find more out about our coaching programs by going to podsoundschool.com. And hey, don't forget to check out this awesome video I mentioned where I use these actual text animations. And while you're at it, you can learn how to make money using ChatGPT. You're gonna love Veronica for this one.